Arachnoiditis is a condition characterized by inflammation of the arachnoid tissue, which is one of the membranes that surround and protect the brain, spinal cord, and nerves of the central nervous system. People suffering from arachnoiditis experience severe pain in their lower back and legs. Arachnoiditis may occur due to bacterial, viral, or fungal infection of the arachnoid. In about 60% of cases, it is caused due to spinal injury during a medical procedure or complication from spinal surgery. Spinal epidural injections and spinal taps may also give rise to this condition. In some cases, tuberculosis, meningitis, spinal stenosis, or disc prolapse can cause this disorder. Arachnoiditis is generally a non-inheritable condition, and familial cases have very rarely been reported. Arachnoiditis can cause numbness and tingling sensation in the lower back, limbs, and trunk. It can also lead to burning pain and loss of temperature sensation. Patient may suffer with muscle cramps, loss of balance, and problems with vision and hearing. Some people develop bowel, bladder, or sexual dysfunction. In severe cases, arachnoiditis can cause partial or complete paralysis of the leg. A detailed neurological exam is required to make the diagnosis. Physical examination can reveal sensory deficits, weakness of muscles, and abnormalities of reflexes. To confirm the diagnosis, MRI scan or CT scan of the lower back is performed. Arachnoiditis is a chronic and complex disorder to manage and it has no permanent cure. Disease management is primarily focused at achieving pain control and improvement of other associated symptoms. For control of pain, NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug and opioid painkillers are used. Physical therapy is recommended to restore motion, preserve function, and to help them remain physically active. Physical therapy may include massage, supervised exercise, hydrotherapy, and hot or cold compresses. Psychotherapy has a beneficial role for most patients with arachnoiditis, as there is a strong association of depression in patients. Surgical intervention generally provides only short-term relief, as it is not considered as a routine. Surgical procedures may increase the formation scar tissue and fibrosis, thus making the condition even worse. For more information on list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.